The built environment is an essential contributor to local economic growth and quality public service delivery. But funding pressures, resource availability and an expanding population have made it increasingly difficult to procure services efficiently and to deliver ongoing value. Scape Group has been helping the public sector successfully improve their assets, infrastructure and estate for more than 10 years. Lucy Siegel reports. What do you do when world-class businesses outgrow your city's space? Well, here in Nottingham, they think they've got the answer. The city's east side is where the discovery of ibuprofen took place, intrinsically linked with pharmaceutical research and development. And now Nottingham City Council is expanding the BioCity campus, setting the standard for regeneration. And Nottingham City Council has once again elected to work with Scape Group after a successful track record of delivery using Scape frameworks on key projects. Every project I've ever been involved in as a councillor has had to be delivered on a tighter budget than we initially thought. It's just the way it works. So if you don't have in place a framework that allows you to work innovatively around those costings, then you never get them over the line. And you know, with Scape, we found over the last few years that actually we can be creative, we can drive down costs but maintain quality, and that's why we use Scape. Over 10 years, Scape has completed over 2,000 projects nationwide. They've also broadened their range of frameworks to help the public sector deliver procurement efficiencies across the entire public estate. The head office now houses six distinct businesses, including Lungfish, an architectural practice specialising in public and educational buildings. We are an efficiency organisation, so we try and make the public sector more efficient, but we do specialise in, in the built environment. Uh, and we, we have a range of products and services now that um, enables them to be more efficient and es essentially save taxpayers uh, a load of money. We're the first organisation in the country to procure a national construction framework. That was the first of its kind in the UK and it's something we're really proud of. So what does all this add up to for the client? They get uh, access to uh, a quick solution in terms of getting their projects or commissions on site and live. They've, done it, they've no need to go through a traditional tendering process that you would usually do, so it saves them months. And because we're at such a size now that we're able to get uh, collaborate across 700 different clients, a large client base, we're able to get real value. There is no doubt that every pound counts, so getting the procurement process right is crucial. Traditionally, local government, we would have gone out to tender on our own and gone through the procurement process, but actually that is very time consuming and in the, in the austerity that we've had, our security of future funding has just disappeared. So to be able to do a procurement quickly is very, very difficult. To have the ability to go to a SCAPE framework contract makes it so much easier, as well as having all of the expertise that sits within SCAPE to help you to get through the process. Procurement and the skill to good procurement is to make it easier for the client to purchase something and they know what they're going to get for that price. And the construction industry has had a history of uh, being full of contracts and complications and added extras, hidden extras. And that's certainly not what Scape's about. Biocity is an example of how the Scape framework helps clients utilise the local supply chain. On this project, the glazing work is being carried out by local firm Bonham & Berry. It's very important for Bonham and Berry to win a, a large contract in Nottingham and for us to employ local people. It's the site that everybody will pass by and be inspired by. We're entering into a period of large-scale regeneration in Nottingham. It's an exciting time. You know, that's a once-in-a-generation opportunity to not only change our city and make it better, change our economy, but also give chances to young people in particular in this city who want to be part of these projects and we want them to be part of these projects too. Young people like Nathan Taylor, a 21-year-old management trainee apprentice at BioCity. Pretty much all of this project has been new for me. Uh, the concrete frame, I've never done that before. It's got lots of different aspects I've never experienced myself before, so it's a really good learning curve for me. Um, so yeah, it's been really enjoyable up to now. This opportunity, uh, invaluable really. I wouldn't be where I am without that opportunity.